709, did you know that on average, an international adoption can cost anywhere from twenty to $40,000? Well, that financial burden is why a lot of families decide to not go that route and exactly the reason why an Edmund family recently founded an organization called A Brother's Love. Joy Pierce is here to tell us uh, how her personal experience led her to want to help others. And Joy, thank you for being here with us this morning. Tell us a little bit about A Brother's Love. What is it? Uh, we're a small nonprofit organization and we give grants to Christian families who are in adopting internationally trying to help offset the burden of that huge expense. And you know that. You have a personal experience. You have adopted a child from China. Mm -hmm. We have a five-year-old daughter from China. We traveled about four and a half years ago to bring her home. That must have been quite a journey. It was a trip of a lifetime. I it bet. changed our lives. Uh, well, why did you, I, I guess you were mentioned the several grants that you have. Can you tell us about um, how families can get connected with those grants? Uh, we have um, given eight grants this year. When we came home from China, we just had a heart to want to do more. There's about 143 million orphans in the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we knew we probably wouldn't adopt again, but we wanted to be able to offer other families the same kind of help that we had received. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have given eight grants, helping bring nine children home. Wow. Um, the most recent <coughs> grant we gave uh, right before Christmas Eve. and. Uh, they're a family who was bringing home a 10 year old little boy who's profoundly deaf. Mm -hmm. And the father who's adopting is also profoundly deaf. So it's, we just meet all kinds of cool families that are, um, have a heart to adopt and change children's lives. Don't and have the, exactly the money to do it Exactly. Though, right? Most people don't have that set aside. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's a lot of money. Well, how can people get involved in a brother's love? Uh, we have um, a website where you can go you know, we give everything that we receive, we give out. So, you know, financial donations is what we really need. We'd love to see families get involved. And um, my son and a lot of his friends helped us do a walkathon this spring. We've had friends whose families have chosen to do a garage sale. But we need monthly donors. We need people, corporate organizations that would love to partner with us. We need. Um, just families who have a heart for the orphans in the world that want to make a change. And this is something you really don't hear about often. You don't hear that there, there aren't many foundations or um, nonprofits that help people who want to adopt internationally. Not a lot. Stephen Curtis Chapman's family has a large one. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a few small grant funds. and We received a small grant while we were waiting and when we came home we thought that was something that we could do. We knew we had a lot of friends who had helped us and kind of taken that journey with us and we knew that they would be willing to help so we have some great families that are really supportive um, and also more than anything prayerfully and just thoughtfully have a heart for the orphans around the world so all right thank you so much for being here and uh, if you want to get more information about a brother's love you can go to news9.com